Coucou les filles, voilà, vous arrivez au bout de votre aventure, de votre voyage. Qu'est-ce que vous retirez de ce séjour, de cette expérience depuis trois mois, je crois Nice, so uh, you want to learn what we learned during this trip and what we learned for our lives also. So yes, Carol, what did you learn during this trip after three oh. months? It's like a lot, a lot, really a lot. I would say first um, that we should put love in the center. This is really like has been new. I mean, maybe we knew it already and it's so simple, but it's so rich at the same time and so challenging at the same time. And to really be aware of this and to do it thoroughly, I think that's the first thing I learned. And what about you? Yes, of course, really. I also learned what is love concretely, because people speak about love all the time. But now I really know that it's caring about each other and caring about the earth through very simple gestures, like preparing breakfast, for example, or being careful not to use too much plastic for the earth. And also, something I learned is that it's very important to have a good balance in your life because I think what we didn't plan in this trip were sometimes to reflect at the end of each week one or two days just without meeting new people just the two of us and reflecting about how was the week what did I learn what did I miss everything so this is something I want to put into practice for my life also having this balance between time for praying time for God time for myself and time for others yeah it's so true and I also want to say that I've learned um, that there are so many inspiring people and initiatives so I really got a new hope and faith in humanity and it was really before I thought uh, maybe there are some ideas like that there are some different forms or inspiring forms to live together and it's really like you open a door and you go through it and there's a whole new world to discover so three months were not enough actually but it was a very very good beginning to get an overview and so many really unforgettable experiences and yeah I see a lot of potential in it for the future many people especially young people that um, yeah are searching or longing for something and these ideas they are so fruitful and so yeah for me I think it's a new way we will um, also see in the future and yeah it's amazing how many really inspiring communities already exist in the world and it's just a start. A start. <laughs> yeah, to conclude I would also say that I'm very impressed that I met so many people who believe in their dreams and who put them into practice and that, yeah, I trust for the future. <laughs> yeah, and I think also what I want to add is that we have become to realize that we really want to live in a community. Maybe before there were like some ideas or whatever and we also thought maybe community, what is it? Is it closed or something? We didn't really know, but now we have experienced it. And it's really like a, a normal life, but with something deeper and something more sharing and so on. And it's so, for me, I really can say, yes, I would like to, um, to do this in my future, to live more in communion with others. And uh, yeah, and when you ask me why, <laughs> It's, I think, because I saw it's really a holistic approach. It's when you start with uh, children and young people being raised in such an environment. It's really like the, the, the key for everything. It's so, it was so overwhelming to see that and you see, okay, there it makes sense when we go to the roots and not uh, trying to, to make something better afterwards, but to just offer the possibility and the, the space for everyone, basically. That really touched my heart. Yeah, I would say also the possibility for everyone to be as a whole, as a person, material and spiritual, like you said, because the society fulfills our basic needs, mostly, um, in terms of eating or sleeping, especially when we are born in France or Germany in families that don't have financial problems. But we have the feeling that we also need um, spiritual, need, spiritual needs to be fulfilled um, by time of communion, singing together, doing some science together, sharing and getting to know each other which I would also like to put in the center of the community I want to live in and to find a good balance between individual time and time all together. Yes, so I'm very grateful also for this girl <laughs> yes. accompanying me and yeah I think it's just the start of something bigger and we will follow. Inshallah. Our...
our project, <laughs> our dream, whatever. Yeah. There can be miracles. When you really believe.